Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make your very own uh, iOS, Android and Windows Phone app without doing any programming. So I've added a new screen here uh, that loads a background image that I want. I'm going to add a text field saying my first app. And I'm going to make this uh, text field a little bit wider and I'm going to make it transparent. Center the text and then I'm going to add an input field. So in this little app I'm just going to copy the content of this input field and paste it into a, an output field. The value that I'm typing in to the input field. So now we have the output field left here so let's create that one and center the text make the font bold and maybe a nice green color here uh, so what I'm gonna do next is to make this into a loop so what happens is that you enter something in the input output displays the content of input 1 which is the only variable I have now and then go to is going to jump back to input 1 so we repeat this process over and over again uh, then I'm gonna just add an exit button that I'm placing here and I want an image in this one also which is just a frame and I'll make the, this button transparent also and I will call it exit exit and we're going to make this one 200 by 50 pixels. Uh, so the, this this app is designed with a base resolution of 240 by 400. So the only thing you have to really care about is the aspect ratio. Uh, so that it looks uh, li like it does when you design it. Uh, otherwise it will scale to different screens regardless if it's an iPad or iPhone or Android or whatever gonna look uh, the same so uh, what I want to do with this button is to go to an exit so the, the last action in the list will uh, if there are no ex actions after this uh, it will exit the application and the button I can place anywhere I want in the sequence same with texts it doesn't matter where they are they will execute whenever you push this button so uh, we will set this button to jump to exit when it is executed. So what I'm going to do next is to publish this application to my Reptool account. So when you purchase your Reptool license you get an activation key which will be a little bit more complicated than this one but uh, this is a demo key that we use. So I'm going to add my new uh, app here so my first app um, create this folder and just push publish so now my first app is published to the Reptool app cloud so now I'm gonna switch over to the camera and go look at some uh, mobile phones So to download the Reptile client you go to reptile.com and then you select download and then download client. Uh, so here you have the links to App Store, Play Store, Windows Store and so on. So uh, if you want the Windows C version or uh, PC version you uh, contact us at Reptile and we'll send you the links for this. So uh, here we are in an Android device in the Play Store downloading the Reptool client to, to the Android device. And uh, here is the client started and uh, when you push demo, the demo button, you have a few apps there that you can try uh, that are free of charge. So this is a ticket scanning app where you uh, scan tickets for football games or things like that. So. Uh, when you scan the ticket you can see if it's valid or not. So this is an online application that uh, checks tickets. So what I'm gonna do now is to scan the activation code for 
the license so you can see that it picks up the license number so now I'm switching over to a camera view where you can see a few different types of mobile phones so this is an iPhone uh, where I scan the serial number and an Android and a Windows phone and an iPad Air uh, so now I'm starting the same app in all the devices and as you can see they look and work the same on all devices and uh, here is an example of how to scan with a built-in camera